I've been working on a way to make it easier to center your pillow backing on the frame so that the design is centered and the shapes are not distorted. I measured and marked my frame, the center of all four sides, so that I can lay it out and center the monk's cloth. I've pulled it tight enough so that these outside lines of the square but right up against the edge of the frame. This pillow will feature the looped side so it doesn't really matter if there is some pen showing at the end. Alright, so I've gotten it pulled as tight as I can north, east, south and west and then I move on to the corners. I've pulled them again as tight as I can it goes right up to the edge of the inside um, butt joint of the frame. And once you've pulled it just as tight as you can, then you staple it in. Sorry for that loud noise do that on both sides. And now you can see that we're starting to pull the monk's cloth evenly out over the frame. From that point, it's a matter of going to the areas in between your staples, pulling them as tightly as you can, giving them a couple of extra staples in each area. This is where you can really start to see that your circles are getting less distorted. And I'm going to continue going around my frame that way. I'll show you how it looks at the end. Okay, I've now finished stapling the monk's cloth on the frame. As you can see, I wasn't shy about using lots of staples. And I paid attention to getting the guidelines as straight as I possibly could all the way around so that there's equal tension exerted on the monk's cloth in all directions. That way the circles are not distorted. So the cloth is as tight as a drum now and it's going to be really nice to punch. <laughs>